was the last week of eighth grade. This kid named Damien threw a carton of milk at a D. The D yelled, Damien, you are expelled. He ran off. Each other out by humping each other, whilst everyone watched. 
Not sure if the girls were doing that at all. A fat kid called another small kid gay, bullying him basically. The small kid then proceeded to go to the back, pick up the changing room hoover, and then chased after the fat kid trying to suck on his mantis. It was a good day till Mr. Hose came in. Edit. Okay for context this fat guy had been bullying this kid for a while and I think the kid just snapped. Although it was funny it was also kinda scary imagine this little 5 feet 5 skinny goblin child carrying such a big heavy hoover while running so fast it scared this huge fat guy. Oh and yes he did manage to get it on his left tit. Left a nasty mark that Mr. Ho saw. They might understand. IDK but I fought my friend in the locker room didn't last too long before the coach walked in, but it was a pretty bloody fight. At my school you got expelled for fighting so, when the coach came in we both said it was an accident. The coach could tell it wasn't, but he just went with our story. Oh, and we were back to being friends after the fight. Someone in my older brother's class stuck a matchbook on my brother's back right above his belt, and lit it on fire as a prank. I guess, my brother got a pretty serious burn at the base of his back about the size of an apple. He didn't tell anyone about it, because he wasn't a snitch, but as he was getting ready for practice after school in the locker room, his coach saw it, and assumed my brother was being abused, and my brother not admitting how it happened, made everyone at the school assume the worst. My parents got called in, and when the teachers threatened to call the police on my dad, my brother finally told them what happened. The kid who did it was going to get expelled for you know, setting someone on fire. But my dad was an education is the most important thing in the world kind of guy, and went to bat for the kid. I think the kid ended up with three years of detention, but he did get to stay in the school. In high school, one of the special ed kids was in the locker room before weightlifting class. Little dudes like, yeah guys you want to see this trick? Naturally, we are all like, yeah man, we love to see your trick. What you got? The hairy childlike boy immediately takes his pants off, shits on the bench and slides all the way from one end to the other. The whole bench was freaked with shit and we all got excused from that class that day. Place stank for the rest of the week and we never looked at him the same. Sneaky guy. Someone locked the doors to the shower room from the outside and at least seven in the back. Bottles through the doors with elastic bands tied around them. So they automatically sprayed, before they locked the doors. Some kid threw up afterwards, and most people being gassed found it funny. Even the kid who threw up, being part Jewish I didn't throw up as I'm always prepared for this situation. We had an electric razor, and had a guy. To shave his head things escalated until someone took a chunk out of a different guy's hair. Realizing as a group we had got a turn and maybe the justice was committed we all shaved our heads. Like 30 guys all shaved their heads in solidarity, we did the same thing, when a guy got pegged with a rock in the back, and it left a major bruise. Everyone took a rock in the back. The next week we had a pool party at school and all the guys had one big welt on the back. Our administration had no clue what we were going to do next, but worked really hard to make sure we didn't accidentally kill someone. After swimming pool, we made a free fight, with everyone, naked with no rules. Anyone knocked out, or who lays on the ground for over 3 seconds is disqualified. I ended up third, after being hit by a bench, so I can relate to every shitty locker man that have been posted. But I still, don't know why we decided to do it naked, and why we all agreed to it. I think it's pretty common, but we had fights with towels in the locker room. However we got so good at it, we would actually start bleeding, if we got hit. A lot of girls, and teachers, asked why our t-shirts had blood on them, and one time why the locker room walls were splashed in blood. We just said it was like that, when we got there, and that we tripped or something like that. Anyone remember 30 hour famine? If not, it's a fundraiser a bunch of schools in Canada, do where the kids go door to door asking for donations slash pledges for like about a one month period, and at the end of it all, all the kids who took part get locked in, in my case, the school gymnasium, for 30 hours over the weekend without any food, anyone who lasted to the very end got some sort of prize as well. Well, this one dude bought a couple 20 inch pizzas the Friday prior, and stashed them in the ceiling tiles in the locker room. He then invited a select bunch of us every few hours, to eat some pizza with him, because 30 hours is a long time, you guys. 
so yeah, I'd say pizza parties would be one of the crazier things, and for some reason I just can't imagine that happening in the girls' locker room. Messing around in the locker room, one of my teammates was pretending to try and stab me with his piece, because we found out the girl he had a crush on like me. Guys play fight a lot, I was holding his keys back by the keychain when it snapped, and before either of us could react he actually stabbed me in the face with his piece, went right through my cheek, but surprisingly didn't hurt. I didn't realize how bad it was, until I opened my mouth to ask, why he was looking at me like that, and blood poured out of my mouth. Went home, put a butterfly bandage on it, went for a run with him the next day like nothing happened. It left a small scar, but it's covered by my beard now so not a big deal. My old middle school apparently had a fight club in the boys locker room. Lasted for several months before a kid shattered his kneecap, and had to go to the hospital. The secret finally leaked out. The students had code words they would use outside of gym class too. The teachers would see these kids all red faced and rough looking, but the kids would just say things got really intense in gym class. Proud of them. Oh and when I was in middle school in the locker room, one guy was showing off his one nipple hair he was able to grow, and we plucked it right out. You can't have nice things. I was in high school, and I was getting ready for my soccer game after school in the locker room. But it was several hours after school ended so no one was around. Except this one other dude who was in the locker room. As I'm putting my cleats on, this guy crawls on top of the locker, which have a few feet between them and the ceiling. And he pushes up a ceiling tile, reaches around above the tiles and pulls out a bag of pot, and offers some to me. Being the young little freshman I was, I declined, and he proceeded to smoke a weed on top of the locker. In the high school locker room, three hours after school ended, when I was in school, a lot of boys either kept their locks unlocked or set their combinations after changing, so that they didn't have to deal with it after class. This setup may seem smart up until someone had decided to take all of these open locks to then latch them onto the air duct. This had went on for days until there was an occurrence of 25 boys huddling around the door of the air duct trying to figure out which lock was this, since all of them looked the same. The kid was caught, and had to clean up the locker room as punishment, which was a surprising reaction from the school, since that could have been suspension. I can't say this could not happen in a girl's locker room, but this was my most interesting story about boys locker rooms other than naked old men, dried up condoms in the lost and found, and the state that are obviously best. Our school rugby team won some national tournament, and for some reason they all decided to shower completely naked with each other to celebrate then proceeded to have a go at me for being the only one to not join in. I mean, they were doing some pretty raunchy stuff in there. I'm good, thanks. If you swing that way then sure go ahead. The bullies would call other kids gay and grab them, and forcibly jerk them off. Well we had enough of it, so we decided to fight fire with fire. None of the bullied were big enough to overcome the bullies. When the bullies started their gay routine we started ourselves off getting out of the game so to speak. You can't force a the person who is jerking themselves. Well the bullies got mad, and started jerking each other off saying, that we weren't good enough to get jerked off by them. Long story short we all ended up ejaculating on the foreign exchange student who didn't speak English well, and seemed really confused. Who I got a couple. One dumb kid tried growing a pot plant in a peanut butter jar. Didn't work. Plants need sunlight. Who old guest. Another kid had his locker broken into and someone jerked off into his stomach. It was something to see. Nice kid, smart, wrestler, no enemies. Never found out who did it, or why. Liquid ass in the hand dryers. Bad idea. Shower traps. Soap all over the entrance so you fall. Undyed shampoo in the worst places. Looks too much like semen. So people would put it everywhere or slap people with a handful of it. Lots of slap wars. Just two or more guys taking turns slapping each other's chest, or back until only one was left. We were getting ready after aquatics class and this one macho guy asked everyone to rank each other on cuteness. Everybody surprisingly went along with it and began debating. It was the most wholesome exchange amongst the almost naked teenagers anybody can ever win. And GL being ranked in the top 5 out of 26 was pretty cool. As a girl. I didn't witness this one, but our dumb teacher told us about it. All the boys in my gym class collectively snared the entire locker room with the 
deodorant. Every wall, every surface. I've always wondered what was going through their heads. That made them all decide to do that. I remember whenever the guys were all jacked up and full of testosterone, they'd slam the lockers which would create a chain effect across the locker room. Pretty soon all the lockers were being slammed, and we'd be acting like there was a riot going on. We were loud up until the gym coach came in. I still am curious what the girls' locker room is like in there. People would throw shit over the locker rooms. If someone needed something, so like fire and deodorant, I'd say anyone got.